Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where I was mining and I'm not done but I really wanted to show you guys something. We just came out of a system that I was really surprised we didn't find any pirates in and this is a different system. It's in the, it's in the Omega Cluster um, but this planet is called Utha and Utha is the name of a character that you meet in the Dragon Age Origins series, well in the books, um, in Asunder I think? It's the second one, the one with the, involves the Grey Wardens, and Utha is a female Dwarven Grey Warden. And you actually see her in the Awakening DLC for Origins as well. So I really like seeing little little Easter eggs like this. Uh, Dragon Age, or Mass Effect 1, had a planet named Amaranthine, which is a uh, city in uh, Ferelden. And uh, it's where the majority of the Awakening DLC takes place, too. So, as well, any, you know. So, anyway, we'll come back once I've finished mining, but I wanted to share that. I thought that was cool. Okay, so I was actually exploring the entire Omega system, um, and I'm almost done, but this is the planet, uh, Edie says there was an anomaly detected. Um... This is a Batarian controlled space. There was an Elcor planet though, it had a very high gravity, so it was uh, inhabited by the Elcor. Apparently a very peaceful place. Um, Lorak is an extremely rare example of a habitable world circling a red dwarf star. Originally an independent Asari colony named Asan, it was annexed by the Batarian hegemony in 1913. In our 1913? Causing a, ma causing a minor galactic incident. Despite several attempts, the local terminus rulers have never been able to take Lorak for themselves. Lorak is a low-density world composed of rock, light metals, and a water-based crust. It is tidally locked to fa Father, or not Father, with a sunward hot pole and a shadowed cold pole. Water on the sunward side evaporates quickly, traveling over the islands of the habitable Terminator Zone in the form of massive, fast-moving thunderstorms, and finally settling in snow on the frozen dark side. There are fears that the buildup of an ice cap mass on the far side may cause axial reorientation over the course of several million years. Papatarian officials dismissed the idea as an irresponsible theory disseminated by counter hegemonist subversant. Of course. Of course it is. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna check out the other one really quick. There was a planet a while back that had boron alloys or something, and that's what you make Omnigel with. Or Medi- yeah, Omnigel. Not Medigel, Omnigel. So that was pretty cool. Oh, there have been no children born on Karar since the infamous pirate of 2047, when every child on the planet was rounded up and taken as a slave. Any couple finding itself pregnant preemptively moves off world. Wow, that's like super superstitious. Okay, we'll go back to, oh, Lorak Anomaly. Nice, it labels that it has an anomaly. But yeah, you can see I got 100% on all the, the rest of the clusters in the system, if I'm using that word correctly. I'm using those two terms correctly. The cluster might actually be the big, all the systems in the, yeah, I think all the systems in the cluster, yeah. Let's find the anomaly. General distress. Beacon auto processing yeah. interrupted at Morse point ACO 655. Oh, right here. One. Status of system operator is not known. General distress. Beacon auto process interrupted at parse point ACO 655321. Status of system operator is not. Is this? Scans have found something. Oh, signal scans detected transmitter matching service encryption is registered to an unknown deep cover operative. Oh, service operative life signs unconfirmed. Other transmissions that match known eclipse code of communications are also detected. Okay, so that's where maybe that missing service operative is. I'm not, I'll just, away. just gonna, I'm not depleting all of them, I'm just putting them down to four. Probe. Yeah, just do this really quick. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna actually go do the couple of uh, upgrades we can do. Increases damage by 50% against armor. Oh, cool. Increases the tungsten content of slugs and recalibrating the weapon's computer greatly improves penetration against heavily armored targets. Okay. Tungsten 
tungsten sabal jacket. Yep, can't do any of that. Oh, no, I can do that, but I'm not going to. Yeah, no. Nope. Oh, okay. I suppose before we go get Tally, we can investigate this signal. Recover the Sherbert Arbiter. I didn't realize we didn't know exactly where he was. Or maybe we did. I don't know. I just didn't. Or he or she? I think they said it was a he. They could have just left it gender neutral, though. The Cerberus Operative. I think that's one of, I think it, it probably is our, the oldest one we've got. Um, let's bring Samara and Morden. Changing things up. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scorch multiple targets. Ooh. I think I do like that. And then we'll get Cryoblast done. And I think the rest of us are good. find a pistol sure Cerberus we'll do this favor for you I guess since you basically gave us everything we have right now This is a nice planet. Look at that water. Cool. Oh, they've seen us. Oh, Ooh. hello. How's it going? Um. Uh. Yet? Nope. Okay. Who else is alive? Who's alive? What? What? Oh. Boy. Um. I wish there was a way to boop back. Maybe. bad idea. Gosh dang it. I wish Vanguard was cooler. I mean, I think on normal Vanguard would be rocking, but on hardcore it's not so cool. Like, cause I, well, at least from what I was expecting, I wanted to be able to charge into a group, kind of scatter them, shock them, but it doesn't matter how much you shoot them, they just, they're like, always pinpoint accuracy wherever you are. Right. Boop, can you take care of that one? I got his leg! Up, I guess, like, Let's I do it. Um, that didn't work. 
We have like <laughs> zero cover here. Ah, that Whoa! Was... <laughs> the heck? She like pooped out a little bit of ammo. Oh, the door over there. Looks like I oh that okay that was that that door okay to oh hey hey look at that Meh. oh um, just the thing to help indeed can they shoot through the glass I was home. <laughs> One down. You must chill. Oh. Oh. Whoa, who are you? Whoa, you got a name like holy buckets. It might not matter. Um, I will change. <laughs> Ready to burn! Oh, you move, no fair. Put them where we All right, you stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need this. Who else is over there? Oh, uh, and there's another, there's a, there's a vanguard over there, or, uh, yeah. Okay, got his health down. Did we, I think we did. Yay. Where's that other one? Hello. Picketing their integrity. You're dead. Uh -huh. That's really convenient to have. Jeez. Refined palladium. Well, thank you. Am I supposed to go that way? It doesn't look like it. I just decided to come out. Who was moral? Security console, access logs. I mean, I've done this before, but it's been a while. Oh, uh, Eclipse targeted Agent Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data we acquired. The data could conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Rachman experiments. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. A cipher the data would take years for Eclipse to decode. 
subject captured. He proved to capture, having insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Attic and Traverse. He won over the loyalty of the ship's crew, who believed him to be a digni human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defenses long enough to strike Agent Rollings. We lost a lot of men to obtain this asset. The data had better be worth the expense. The interrogation has failed. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Agent Rawlings managed to evade our questions. When we applied more evasive methods, he proved resistant to those as well. Eventually, Agent Rawlings' resistance caused the tempers to flare. We consider it unfortunate that Agent, Agent Rawlings did not live to pass on the cipher. We have men working to decipher encryption now. As long as we control this data, its resistance remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. So, we aren't necessarily doing... Well, they weren't necessarily doing bad things by taking this operative. But, then again, I don't know why they were specifically targeting Cerberus as, like, a human organization, or... Or just as Cerberus being a powerful organization, you know? Yay, money! Anything over there? Ammo! I don't know. This is a nice facility, though. Good job, Eclipse. At least make it a nice place to be. Not super defensible, but a nice place to be. Oh, shoot. Eh. It's not hard to do, you just need to make sure I remember exactly where they are. Hello? Oh, whoa. Is that... Is that him? Holy crap. Holy... Whoa! You're telling me? I think he was supposed to be in this chair. Jeez, they like threw him around. Holy crap. His eyes are open. Jeez Louise. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, don't wake up, please. I'll this freak computer you. contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Hmm. I kind of think it'd be a good idea to keep it, and then I could give it to Cerberus or the Alliance, but I don't remember what I did before. There's really no reason to give it to the Alliance, because they haven't really done anything for me. Like, the Alliance in general, you know? It's like... It's not that they haven't done anything for Shepard, but it's that right now they can't do anything and aren't doing anything and she's fighting the good fight right now like she was she, but she doesn't really owe Cerberus anything I think it'd be a good idea to keep it for yourself data received okay so I got so it says encrypted data transmitted to Normandy for decryption and storage I don't know if I got any, I guess it'll tell me if I got any Paragon points, but, or any Renegade points, because it was the down one, but I think it would be, like, even though Shepard's a Paragon, I think it would be a good idea to keep something in reserve, you know? So, it's whatever. I mean, it's not whatever, but she doesn't really owe the Alliance anything at this point. She died in the Alliance's service, like, and she came back in Cerberus, but she's not Cerberus. But she's not Alliance, either. She's basically her own woman right now. So. Uh, the elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. About the information that I picked up? Or something else? Because I don't want to start something else. We'll save. Nice. Alright. Let's go see what he wants. 
Where are we going? Excuse me, I don't know where I'm going. I should make sure to go up and feed my fish. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Hey, buddy. Buddy boy. How's it going? Wow, you're not sitting down. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted oh, the distress call. Oh, I don't want to do this patrol. yet. <laughs> they stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Turians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. All right. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a I did. I did all that so we could hear what's going on, but I am gonna. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do that yet. So I'll reload. I should have known better. The elusive man only wants to talk to me when it's like a plot progression thing, but we don't have Tally yet. So you're gonna have to wait. Elusive man. Just to speak to you in the debriefing room. No. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Uh, still alive from the day of Anya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me with deals tomorrow. The Eclipse Mercy have gotten real quiet around here. My spirits have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet Jessica, Carr, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Oh, thanks, Detective Anya. Oh, yeah, Anaya. Red. From Martin Burns. Uh, Udina said this would reach you. I wanted you to know that I haven't forgotten what you did for me the day those crazy boss took me hostage. You talked them down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I won't lie to you. I took this job for the pull and the power. I saw the bad excuse of sipping someone something good to put on my resume, and I was wrong. We all serve humanity in our own way. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to see to it that humanity reaches its potential with a minimum of bloodshed. I'm getting letters of thanks from, 12, from L2 Biotics who just received the reparations. Those letters should really be coming to you. I just thought you should know. Good luck. I've taken, off, taken some political heat, so I don't know that any offer to help you would ever be useful. But if you need me, I won't let you down. Martin Burns, Chairman, Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies. All right. I'm Kate Bowman, Shepard. I called in some favors and found out how to get you and found out how to get to you and what you're working on. We've got a big celebration planned for the anniversary of you and the others saving Terra Nova. Last year we added a memorial for you too. I guess that was premature, huh? Oh, okay. I figure finding out who's attacking colonies is why you had to go undercover. Oh, yeah. So some people think I went undercover, that I didn't die, that I just went undercover. So I won't invite you to come give a speech or anything, but I wanted you to know that all of us living li living on colonies are worried about what's happening in the Terminus systems, and I'm really glad you're there to help. There's a lot of crazy military talk going around. I'm glad someone's there who's not going to take the easy way out. Like, Kate Bowman. I... I... I oh, the, yeah, I'll say she's the one from the Batarian thing when I did the... Uh, when they were trying to crash an asteroid into Terra Nova. I have logged and begun... Decryption of the data you recover from the Eclipse base on Lorak. Preliminary searches show that the information pertains to illicit operations in which Cerberus was involved over the past five years. Should this information be released, it could severely hinder Cerberus' ability to operate openly in the galaxy. It will take me a year or more to completely decrypt this information. Jeez. Jeez. The elusive man wishes nope. to speak to you in the debriefing room. Nope. Nope. We are going... Change of plans, Commander. No! I have to? No! I don't have Tally yet! Hold on. Alright then, no, we're gonna play it. We're gonna do it that way. 
That was like an hour ago. I don't know what we did. We'll look, we'll look really quick. I gotta go get, I don't know what, I don't know what, like, made that go off, what bell made that go off. Was it the, was it doing the N7, the Cerberus thing? I don't know. Well, that makes this whole episode, like, moot. Oh my gosh, all that mining I did. Ugh. <laughs> oh, it was all for nothing. Yep, all the mining. Oh no, was it? so we did get to Utha. So we only haven't done the Batala. Okay, well, I guess we'll go get Tally now, geez. So hopefully I remember about that. And we don't, I don't make you guys, well I guess I didn't make you guys watch that, but I did make you watch that N7 operative one. Let's go get Tally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I guess I will call this one here. I'm sorry, we will, I will try not, try to remember that you guys have already seen the N7 operative thingy, but we will go get Tally in this one. So thank you, or in the next one. So thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.